Nola is unique because exposed on a reef in Bermuda, her hull is largely intact. Yes, it's broken, it's cracked in spots, it's collapsed in others, and yet it's all there, albeit in pieces. Swimming towards the stern and dropping into the area that had once been the cargo hold for Nola, I saw broken fragments of hundreds of bottles. At first I thought that they were medicine bottles. Of course, the Confederacy needed medicine for sick and wounded soldiers. But it was more than that. There were liquor bottles, there were shot glasses, there were bottles for food. All indications that the Confederacy was not only bringing in goods that they needed for the war, there were also luxury items that were being brought in to feed the black market. The amazing things that we found sitting in the wreck were large chunks of anthracite coal. That coal probably came from Great Britain, and it's another indication of the complex nature of blockade running. She's a time capsule in many ways, broken and cracked on the bottom, nonetheless giving us a clear sense if you put all those pieces of the puzzle back together, and in a way that no painting or even a photograph could ever depict, of a detailed look at a blockade runner and how her hull, revolutionary and cutting edge, was the key to the Confederacy's success in challenging the Union blockade.